Hello, Digital Monkey School students. Let's continue with a mini series of tutorials where I teach you how to create a Valentine themed ornament. This is the third tutorial in the series. First, I'm going to do a little bit of housekeeping. We have two objects here. One is a grid object, and that's the object that we want to keep. And now we also have this simvert object, and that's a cookie cutter object. We no longer need that. Let's click on the simvert object, press X and delete it. Let's rename a grid to something like a heart. Also, we need to turn on a free add-on. For that, we're going to go to Edit Preferences, type in Extra. The add-on that we will need for this tutorial is Add Mesh Extra Objects. Now, Shift A, Round Cube, in my Add Round Cube Preferences. I'm going to go to Operator Presets and choose a Quad Sphere. The size of the sphere needs to be big enough so that the hearts will be reasonably small. Increase the size. I'm going to press Option Z to go to a transparent mode, something like 9.8. Now, our arc controls the density of the Quad Sphere. And we don't want the quad sphere to be too dense because we're going to be applying the hearts or aligning the hearts with the vertices of the quad sphere. And right now, there are way too many. Good numbers would be either two, which allows for less hearts, or four. The denser the sphere, the more hearts or more shapes you will be able to align to it, but the smaller those shapes will have to be. I'm going to go with four. Go to Edit Mode, Vertices, go to Select, Check it to Select. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I do not want to apply shapes to all of the vertices. Instead, I wanted to apply shapes to every other vertex. What I have right now is perfect for that purpose. Now I will go to my Object Data Properties, create a vertex group, and then I will assign the selected vertices to that vertex group. The next step in the object mode, I will apply a mask modifier. And what that will do, that will hide the vertices that I chose not to use for applying this shape to the sphere. Now I have this object, which is made of points. The next step would be to select my heart, shift select round cube, press control P, set parent to object. Also, because of how we made the grid, if you look at the rotation and scale, you can see that it's not uniform. My rotation needs to be zero, 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 and my scale needs to be one, one, one. Let's go ahead and reset rotation and scale with control A. Click on the round cube, go to object properties for the round cube. We're going to look for instancing. Currently it's set to none. We have two options, vertices and faces. We're going to choose vertices. So let's click on that. And you can see that now those hearts been instanced on those points. And then we have this checkbox align to vertex normal. Let's click on that. And you can see that now those hearts are actually being aligned very uniformly and neatly along the sphere. They're not quite spherical shape yet, but we're definitely getting there. Now we have to do a couple of more things. First of all, we're going to, in the object mode, go to Object, Apply, Make Instance Real. What that did was it took all of those hearts which were instanced and made them real geometry. Now I'm going to click on the heart itself and I'm going to go to Object, Relations, make a single user, choose Object Data. And I'm doing that to break the relationship between my original heart and the hearts that I generated. I don't really need this heart, so I can just hide it. I want to combine all of the new generated hearts into one object. I'm going to select the first one in the Outliner, Shift Select the last one, press Control J, and now those hearts are one object. Rename that hearts. Click on my round cube. Let's rename it to ornament. And let's go to our modifiers properties. 
and we can either disable the modifier or get rid of it. If you want to apply another shape onto the sphere, onto the available set of vertices, that's when you would consider keeping this modifier. I'm just going to disable it for now. And what I want to do with my quad sphere is I want to subdivide it a little bit higher. Let's go and add modifier generate subdivision surface, turn off optimal display so that we can see the subdivisions, increase the level to three. What I'm using as the guide is the level of subdivisions that my hearts have. They need to be close. Four is maybe an overkill. Three, they're a little bit bigger, but they will be good enough that those hearts will wrap around and it's gonna look nice and smooth. There are still a couple of things that I wanna do before I'm gonna go any further. Hearts are inverted. I need to flip them. Let's go ahead and select this object. Let's go to edit mode, faces, press A, press option N, and choose normals flip. Now they're facing the correct way. Also. I want to right click with one of those objects selected, or actually both of them selected at the same time, right click and choose shade out of smooth. And now we're gonna apply the last modifier. Let's select the hearts, add modifier, deform, and we're going to choose a shrink wrap. Wrap and method, we're gonna choose target normal project, snap mode, we're going to choose above surface, Target, choose our quad sphere. Hearts now being nicely wrapped around. We want to give it a little bit of offset, maybe something like 0 0.01. And now for the fun part, let's go ahead and create another window. Go to viewport shading, change my new window to an asset browser. I prepared some materials. Let's go ahead and try them out. Let's take this guy and drop it onto a sphere. Looks good. Let's take this guy, drop it onto our hearts. Let's turn our overlays. So this all in all looks nice and neat. And I can play with these materials. I'll probably record one more tutorial showing you how to create a cap with a string for this ornament. I hope you learn something new today. We are Digital Monkey School. Please like us and subscribe, and I will talk to you in my next tutorial.